Hey everybody, Mr. Macintosh here. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about a new Mac OS Monterey feature called Use Your Mac as an AirPlay 2 Speaker. You can use any Mac all over your house to be able to play music from another Mac or even your iPhone. This is a really cool feature and I'm gonna go over a lot of the different settings and features that you wanna know. Let's get started. Okay, let's first talk about the compatibility with using your Mac as an AirPlay 2 speaker. Compatibility is the same as AirPlay 2 screen mirroring or extending your display. All Macs that can run Mac OS Monterey can use the AirPlay 2 speaker mode, including Macs that have open core legacy patcher with unsupported Macs running Mac OS Monterey. So the compatibility is very wide to be able to use this great feature. Okay, let's read what Apple says about AirPlay 2 speaker. Your Mac can function as a third party AirPlay 2 speaker, allowing you to play music or podcasts to your Mac or use it as a secondary speaker for multi-room audio. That sounds pretty cool, right? So I've got a demo set up here so we can go through those features. First, I wanna show you if you just wanted to stream music from your iPhone to a Mac across the room or in another room, all you need to do is open up the music app. And as you can see here, I've got a song set up here and down here, if AirPlay is available, you'll see the AirPlay button. Click on the AirPlay button and you'll see a list of all available Mac devices that have AirPlay receiver on and is ready for accepting the connections. As you can see, here, here's that unsupported MacBook Pro from 2013. I can send it to there or my 2018 Mac Mini or my 2020 M1 Mac. So let's send it to the 2020 M1 Mac first. So let's click on that. We'll get a AirPlay receiver box here that says, are you sure you wanna be able to take this AirPlay signal? Yes, we'll accept. And you'll see a check mark box here. We can click away and then hit play. And then we're playing with the speaker. You can also control the volume. And again, if you wanted to connect more machines, click on here and you'll see the list again of all the, the machines available. You can click on multiple machines for a multi-machine and you can, you can change the audio in there also. Let's say you wanna do three machines. Now all three machines and make sure you accept this. Now one thing I wanted to explain to you is that if you've never connected to AirPlay before on a Mac, you gotta type in the code 9495. And okay, once you do that one time, you'll never be asked for the code again on this particular Mac. Okay, well, now that we have all those three connected, we can hit play and we can hear from all three machines. If you wanna change the volume for individual speakers, all you need to do is click here. You'll see that three speakers are connected. Hit the little arrow right here and then you can individually modify the volume on each speaker. How cool is that? So that is using your Mac as a speaker from an iPhone or an iPad. Now let's talk about how you can use Apple Music on a Mac to be able to do the same thing. Okay, so now I've got Apple Music up here and you can see that if the Apple Music, as long as your Wi-Fi is on and you're connected to a network, you'll see the AirPlay icon right in Apple Music. If it does not detect anything that's around that is AirPlay receiver compatible, this icon will be gone. If you fired up your Mac just now and it's not showing Going, close Apple Music and then open it up again. Let's click on this button here and you can see all the available Macs that can be used as an AirPlay speaker. So all you need to do is click on one of the ones to be able to connect to it. Give it a second, it'll say connecting to MacBook Pro. Then we'll bring this over here and click accept just like we did for the iPhone and then type in the code. and we're now connected. And we can see that volume control right in here. You can modify that volume right from here. You can just turn that back off by clicking on this button. Let's connect to the Mac Mini. Same thing over here, accept. And now we're connected to the MacBook Mac Mini. Let's also connect to the MacBook Pro. And guess what? Look how it automatically connected. That's because the beauty of being signed in with your the same Apple ID on both computers will allow you to seamlessly connect your AirPlay speaker connection immediately with no number prompt or notification bar to be able to accept or unaccept. If we go back to the MacBook Pro, we can see that it is signed in with my Apple ID. And if we go over here 
to System Preferences on the iMac, we can see that I'm signed in as the same Apple ID on both systems. Now this mirrors what that AirPlay receiver settings in here. If you use the current user setting and you're connected to, as you can see, only devices signed into your Apple ID can see in AirPlay to this computer, and that is an automatic connection. So that's really cool. So let's go back here and let's look at those settings again. We can see that we can modify that volume and we can send to all four machines. So isn't that cool? And they, they don't have to be in this room. They can be in other rooms and home pods and all different kinds of audio uh, connections can work with this setup. And that's using AirPlay 2 to make your Mac as a speaker from another Mac using music app. That's not just for the music app. Now let's talk about the system speaker. If you want to be able to send your system speaker from your Mac to another Mac, you can. So if you're using, for example, your MacBook Pro M1 and you want to send it to this really nice speakers, on the M1 Mac, you can. All you need to do is click on the speaker button and then you'll see the M1 iMac right there. Click on this and you're automatically connected and you're using the sound on the iMac now. So now that we have that, we can also send AirPlay directly from the YouTube. And now let's connect to our T2 Mac Mini and we'll click accept over here. And that's a quick overview on how to use your Mac as an AirPlay 2 speaker from your iPhone or iPad or your Mac to another Mac. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, click on that subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, I really appreciate it. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.